Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at this KGZ. It's the Z200. It's an automotive circuit probe and breaker finder kit. So you can see it checks breaker, your power inject, polarity, component, mode switch, open circuit, avometer, and continuity. So basically, we're just going to show you a few features of it. We'll pull it out, show you what it all does. So it's going to come in a box with a handle like this. You'll notice the handle does come off. It just slides in and goes back in. The main thing you want is the kit inside anyway. So when you see your actual kit, you'll see it says KGZ. It's the Z200. It's a clamshell kit. So you're just going to open it up. Look at the components inside. You'll see they've got foam on the inside. It has a uh, user manual that if you make sure you want to read that. You're going to see that it has a 20 foot extension in case you need to stretch it out. Your actual unit itself, this is already installed. You'll see it has a probe cover. It's, it's removable, but it has a probe cover on the top. So before you try to use it, you just put that back on. Like I said, this is removable. You don't have to leave it in. And it has a 20 foot cord with it. You're going to see it also has the probes here on the end in case you need it. And there's a couple different ways you can use to check the power. First off, it has to have power supplied to it. So if you're using it in your car, you have one of two ways. You can either plug this in and use it plugged into your battery, or if you don't wanna do the battery route, there's also the other plug where you can plug this in and you can use your uh, cigarette lighter. So we can try both ways. And it also has this probe here. You're gonna see this probe is your circuit breaker. So basically it has an adjustable tip. You can move this around down inside of there wherever you need to reach, and it will actually probe and find out. You'll run the test on it, and it will tell you if there's a breaker finder, if there's something wrong. You just push the button, and it will come on. But on this one, it is battery-powered. You'll notice it does come with the battery here. So you're basically going to plug this in. Any place you think that you may have a circuit bad, you put this down inside here, you push the button. It will beep if there's something wrong. Okay, the circuit breaker finder detects and alerts you immediately when there's an open circuit. This can easily and quickly locate circuits that are open, to, open connections, broken wires, and current leaks, and even trace the wires. Additionally, you can find intermittent circuit problems by flexing the wires or connectors and listening for a change in the receiver tone. So when you turn this on, it's going to come on. It's just a switch right here. And you're going to hear... It should come on here. You hold the test button. You hear that noise. That's me moving my hand. Now, if you get an open circuit, this will beep, telling you that there's something wrong or a broken wire. So for us, we're not going to use the hookup to the battery. We want to show you how it's going to work on the uh, cigarette lighter. So I have the cigarette lighter bit here. I plug this in all the way. So it's sealed and I'm just going to plug it in here. Now I may have to turn on my ignition. I'm not sure. So I plug it in. It's there. So now we're going to go up and see the unit itself. And we're also going to use this. This is 20 foot. I did. I brought my extension in case I needed it, but it reaches up just fine. We're also going to use our circuit breaker uh, finder. I shouldn't have any issues, but I'm going to show you action. So you're going to see I turned it. I did have to turn my key. You're going to see it comes up. This is has zero volts. And you have different things here. Red means we're not getting anything. Green means you are. So we're going to check here in a minute. And then you have your other buttons here to check your different things that you want to look at. So first off, we're going to check fuses. We have fuses here. So we're just going to go down in here and we're going to first, we're going to check and see if we have. So when you go to turn the unit on, this button right here, the switch, that is your switch to turn it on. You're going to see it goes to the boot up function. Then when you look right here at the top, you're going to see the different volts, ohms. And then you push this red button if you want to move this so it'll move here. There's your ohms. And then you're, whatever you're checking, you just go through here and check the different ones. So if you want to see if it's plus or minus, let's go back to volts, let's say. You'll go here. You're, you're looking for 11.6. If it's red, that means it's not reaching it. Here, green, it's just checking here. So basically, when we want to check something, 
we are going to go inside of here. Your fuse on the top of your fuse has little holes right here. Take your probe off your cover off the top and then you're going to push down inside and you're going to check your different fuses. You're just, just going through basically and checking these little holes, making sure that you're getting the amperage that you're supposed to get. And if you're wanting to check something else, then you just make the adjustment here. And it moves it across here. So if you're wanting to make adjustments, let's say you want to check something different. I was checking the voltage. So we'll go here to ohms. You just check that. You do the same thing. You would go down inside. And you just check it. And you're looking for red or green. You're just checking. Make sure you have good connection. So that's basically how you go through and check different things. And we're gonna turn, when you're done with it, you just use this button to turn it off. Then you can use your circuit breaker, turn that on. And you're basically going to take this tip and you're looking for something that a disconnected wire, or whatever you could just, we're gonna use this alarm system that's been hooked up. I know there's nothing wrong with it. We just make sure we push the button and it will beep if you have a broken wire. Here, right here, listen. Can you hear that? That tell me there's a wire loose somewhere. So I have to check my alarm system and see if there's a loose wire. If you get closer, you can hear it better. That alarm is telling me that I have a broken wire. So we need to find where the broken wire is. We'll fix it. It should never make a noise. It should sound like this. The normal noise, if there's nothing wrong, will be this. Then you find a broken wire. And the closer I get to it, the louder it gets is right here. So I have a wire here that I have to check, which I did not know about. So it's nice that I brought this out for the test. And that's how that works. That's your, your uh, breaker finder that will find a break in the line, whatever. And then when you're done with that, you will basically just turn it off. Now, the other way we told you you could use this, we'll show you this as well. Now for this one, I want to make sure that I have it turned off. And I will hook it up directly up to the battery. So what I've done now, I've removed the tip that goes into your uh, cigarette lighter. Uh, you have to have your car turn, some cars, most cars, you will have to have it turned on. That's why I wanted to show you the other way to do it. Wire it directly up to your battery. You just basically change this tip. And then you will hook the red up to the red and the black up to the black. If you're ever confused, it should tell you here, positive to positive plus because some cars do not have these so you look at your battery and it should have that also so red to red positive to positive black to black is negative to negative and then you'll turn this on to make sure it's working and you'll see there's your KJ, kgz so we have this working and we know this is on we know the tip has to be uncovered so if you're ever wanting to check also something for your power here if you need to put this on to check something you can use these as well Right now, we're not using these. So we're just gonna check in here again, like we did before. We have it set on voltage. And you can also check down inside of here. If you're looking for any kind of issues that you, I accidentally hit the wrong button, switched it. We're gonna check for continuity. So you just check your buttons down in here. Make sure there is no issues with your probe. See, there was a negative number. It was a negative 3.2. Keep hit bumping this red button.
And then you can go back and check your fuses again if you want to. Basically the same thing I was doing a while ago. And then you just check different things there if you want. You could also hook these up on here if you wanted to check it. This is just a quick run through of the different things it does. When you're done with it, turn it on. Unhook these units here. Because we will put this back away the way it belongs. Make sure you cover your tip so it's sharp. You don't want to damage it. And if you want, you can remove it when you put it back in the box. So this is just a quick overview. We showed you how to use just a few features of it. So you're going through, you're checking your fuses, checking your uh, lines, checking for any kind of damage. This is a little, sometimes a little difficult to pull out. The first one wasn't, this is just a little tighter. And these just come apart, they disconnect. KGZ Z200. Uh, so basically we showed you some of the functions, not all. We just give you a quick review of it. We let you see the circuit breaker, the wire tester. We did find a wire that we didn't know was loose, the one that went to my alarm system. So basically we showed you that in action. We showed you how to check your fuses and some of the other things that you can check your wiring with this unit here. You'll notice when we put it away, we took this piece out. When they had it, when we actually received it, it was still in there. I removed it because it makes it easier to put inside. Uh, we showed you how to use both different tips here. If you want to use your battery or if you want to use your uh, cigarette lighter. We didn't use the 20 foot extension because we didn't need it because this 20 foot original was good enough. So we just wanted to give you a quick review of it, uh, show you what it did. It did everything it was supposed to do. It actually surprised me because I found a wire I didn't know was loose. We're going to give you the link for this in the description. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If you're someone who works on cars a lot or any kind of wiring and you need to uh, check, you need something to check your different fuses, your wires, your circuit breakers, all that different stuff, this is a really good unit for that. And we would recommend that as far as for doing your car, something inexpensive and easy to maintain.